Hey guys, Karen and Nick here from Nerd Parade. We're working on some cosplay progress uh, for New York Comic Con cosplays, and we are planning on playing The Witcher, uh, Geralt, and Siri. So today we're working on Geralt's armor. Um, we did this uh, shoulder piece, one of them, completed it last night. So what we're going to be doing today is basically showing you how we've made this one shoulder pad. Okay, here we have one of the pieces that we're going to use for Geralt's armor. This particular piece belongs to the middle pad of, uh, of his armor uh, that goes around the bicep. So basically what we did here was cut a piece of EVA foam. It doesn't matter the color because it's going to be all covered anyways. And you want to kind of bend it. So it takes form of the arm, so that way when you put it on your arm, it's already a little bent. Um, and then what we did what next was cut a piece of the fake leather that we bought and pleather. glue it on with a uh, hot glue, a hot glue gun. And that's basically what you do for the first part of the armor. Next, you're going to work on some chain mail. So we have a piece here uh, that we've been working on. Now this piece belongs to this particular uh, pad. So you'll see we're halfway done with this one. It takes quite some time. But once we're done here, we'll glue it on. Okay, guys, we're going to go through how to make the ring, the chain mail rings themselves. So you're going to need a couple of tools here. First and foremost, you're going to need a, need a drill, and you're going to need a dowel rod. Uh, the dowel rod that we're using is 7 sixteenths of an inch. Uh, you can get it at Home Depot. It's like a dollar. And what you're going to want to do is drill a little hole, just one hole, all the way through. Now that's we're going to feed our wire through, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. You're also going to need a pair of handheld bolt cutters. Uh, these also are like maybe six dollars, uh, nothing fancy, it's just going to just make your job of cutting the wire a lot easier. This is the wire. It's 200 feet of 16 gauge galvanized steel wire. Uh, it's going to be about six or seven dollars at Home Depot. Again, it's, it's pretty cheap. It's going to come on a big spool like this. and. Uh, you can get a thicker gauge, which is 14 gauge. It's going to be a little harder to cut, but it's going to look thicker and nicer as other rings. But I'll show you what the 16 gauge looks like again. This is our 16 gauge chainmail on the 7 16 of an inch dowel. It looks pretty good. So we stuck with that due to the ease of use and how easy it is to create. Okay, now I have some pre-cut wire. Just cut off a small segment of the uh, the wire using your bolt cutters. You don't want to do the whole spool at once. Uh, it's crazy complicated and it's not worth the effort. Now, you want to take one end and feed it through. And this, this is where the hole comes in. You take one edge, you feed it through the hole and bend it around, okay? Now, this is just tape I have so it fits in the drill better. It's on the end of the dowel. Okay. We're going to tighten the drill around it a little bit. Okay, it's locked into place here. And we're just going to coil the wire along the drill. Or, I'm sorry, along the dowel using the drill. What I like to do is just hold the wire to guide it so that it makes a very nice and even little trip around. Okay, once you get set up, it's going to go very smoothly. Just hold the wire and make, make it look like a spring. This is going to take a little bit of, uh, a little bit of time, but the slower you go, the more evenly it'll be wrapped and all the rings will be the same size. If you mess up, they'll be too spaced out and the rings will all be different sizes. And you want to try to get them as close as, to the same size as possible. Okay, we've got a decent amount of wire wrapped around our dowel here. So we're going to go ahead and take our bolt cutters 
cut off the excess wire. Okay. We're going to go ahead and remove the dowel from our drill. Okay. Our little uh, entry where we place the wire in to begin with, we're going to go ahead and cut that off. So I'm going to cut off the sharp end at the, the base first so I don't cut myself. And then right where the hole is, we're going to use our bolt cutters to snip that last piece so that we can get started on taking the ring off of the dowel. Okay, now we're going to cut off our rings from our spring, take our bolt cutters, okay, and we just give it, we rotate it off, and there we go. We have one ring. We have to do this a bunch more times. Snip. I think I got two again. Comes right off. Very easy to come off. Okay. So as you can see, the ring is split a little bit. So what we're going to take is a couple of, like a pair of needle nose pliers bend this ring open and then we're going to thread it in and then bend it closed. That's how we're going to make the completed chainmail piece is by weaving all of these rings together. All right, that does it for this video, part one. In our next video, we're going to show you how to weave the links together to form your section of chainmail. Just go ahead and click here right below me to get there and you guys stay awesome.